All right, so I want to go through how to track your progression through the app of true the true coach app that we use. So when you first log on, you're going to see your workout for today. So we're phase two, day A. So we're going to click on that. Uh, your warm ups, you don't have to log at all. OK, um, so let's go to B1 and B2. So we have the kettlebell goblet squat and then we have the kettlebell three point row. So you'll see, okay, three by eight to 12, 25 pound dumbbell and your video is there. So we're gonna track it. So by the camera, um, this already has something written, but even if it's not, you just click by that camera and it'll let you type. So say um, your first set, you do 12 reps, right? So then you'll put that in, you can hit complete or slide down. All right, now you're gonna rest. Now we're going to our next exercise, B2, kettlebell three point row. So we're doing three, sets um of 10 on each arm okay so over here there's no weight okay sometimes it might be like that where i'm not always going to write a weight for you and i'm just going to write your sets and reps so if that's the case you just hit exercise history right there and then i'll show you last time you did this oh you were supposed to use 30 pounds okay so then that's how you'll know now when you do this you're using 30 pounds again because i didn't mark you know a different weight so we're going to still use that, and then say you do your 10. Perfect, you'll write that, and then you can put the comma. Good. And then we're going to um, do that. So then you'll rest. Okay, set two. Um, say you go again, and you hit another 12. Awesome, I want you to write that in. And then you'll go back to this. Okay, you do 10 again. Awesome. You got 10. So now your third set, you're going up here. And now say I'm, you're a little tired and you only get 10, you'll write that in. So that's the whole reason I want you to log is because sometimes I'll have the 8 to 12. So you can kind of go between those ranges, but I want you tracking it so I can see if you're getting this 12, the 12s or if you were getting less. That way I know if you're getting all 12, we can go up and wait. Or if it's a little lower, we're going to stay there and um, we're going to try to get to a um you know 10s next time or 12s next time and then the bottom one for the row um i wanted to show you like i'm not always going to have a weight especially if we're progressing from our last session so um if there's no weight just hit that exercise history and it's going to show you the weights you've been using in the past and that's how we can keep your workouts um tracked and then we can continue to progress so that's sweet um that's what we're going to do